good and what's poppin youtube if you're new here my name is kenna and i make college beauty and lifestyle related content and i'm very excited to get into this video today because i have literally been waiting months to be able to make this video so i am actually going to be reading my missions file because of covid and everything the process took so much longer than it was supposed to but nonetheless i am doing it now and i want to point out that this video will be strictly me talking about what the readers said and how they scored me so i will not be going over my stats my extracurriculars what i submitted because i already have a video on that which you should go and watch before you watch this one um, i would highly recommend it it'll probably be a lot more helpful and yeah so be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on my post notifications for more content without further ado let's get into this video The way I even viewed my admission file was I booked an appointment with one of the admissions counselors and I was on Zoom, of course, and she shared her screen with me and allowed me to go through my entire application. So the admissions file was pretty much everything that I submitted to the university, so my essays, my grades, extracurriculars, all that good stuff. Then the last two or three pages were all of the evaluations and feedback that I got from the my readers. So at the beginning of the evaluation section was four evaluation scores or ratings that the readers gave me. And so the first one was a program rating, which meant uh, basically how many AP courses you took. So mine was a six because it's simply just a flat number of like however many you took. And then in the comment section, they noted how many I took during my senior year, which was three. So for you guys, maybe something to keep in mind is how many you're taking during your senior year specifically. Um, if you're not in any, I would recommend that you get into some because that is something that they do know on the application um, that is probably important for their decision. So the second score was my performance score. And this was basically my performance in terms of grades. And this was calculated on a scale from one to 10. And so I got a nine because I did get one B during my 11th grade year. So almost perfect score. And they said they usually like students are on the higher side of this scale. All right. So the third one was my extracurricular rating. And on this one, I actually got a seven. Now the scale was a little unusual. So you could get anywhere from a one, a three, a five, a seven or a nine and one. And that's from like worst to best. And so most students, I was told by the admissions counselor, most students usually get a five, meaning great leadership, great involvement. But I actually scored a seven, which was a lot high, which was, I mean, a bit higher than what they were used to. So that was something that stood out. And like in the comment section, they noted the specific extracurriculars that stood out to them. So for example, my makeup business, being the tennis captain, being a dance captain and being a model UN captain. I had a pretty good amount of leadership experience when I was in high school. So. Those are some things that really stood out um, that got my score a bit higher. And as mentioned in my previous admissions video or stats video, extracurriculars are very important. <laughs> so the fourth and final rating is the personal qualities scale. And this was very similar to the extracurricular one with the one, three, five, seven, nine scale rating system. And so I scored a seven on this one. And essentially what the personal qualities part means is what are the things that we saw that weren't already on your transcript? So this, these are things that showed up in your recommendations or your essays. So again, I got a seven, which was on the higher side of the scale. So some of the things that they noted in the comment section was that um, I was able to overcome difficult situations while being dedicated to my extracurriculars and while working part time. So yeah, I worked a part time job pretty much most of high school and I was pretty involved in like all of the extracurriculars I got of course that's how I rise to like leadership positions so those are just some things to keep in mind um, when you guys are applying to UNC. For the next part of the evaluation section it was pretty much just a summary of my high school so it included just like my GPA, my ranking, and then like my high school's name like it wasn't even that big of a section at all. Um, and then finally, we have the reader's comment and their decision to admit. So I had a total of two readers read my application. And of course, I will not disclose the reader's names, but I was I was given permission to kind of read the comments that they gave me as well as the decision that they made. So of course, I don't have these things memorized, the comments and stuff. So I'm just going to have to read it off my iPad. So for reader number one, she wrote in the comments, nearly flawless performance in solid program. Testing is on modest side, but ranked in top 13% of class. AP 33, 
I don't know what that means, but whatever. Stands out for deep dedication and leadership with extracurriculars while working part-time to help support her family. Essays are strong and creative and the recommendations are supportive. I see true drive, leadership, and determination. And for her decision, she gave me admit. So first reader liked me, these are her comments, and that was that. Now for the second reader, she wrote, college advisor recommendation tells she's the top few of his career. I agree she shows determination and spirit, thoughtful makeup business, commendable leadership in extracurriculars, and an excellent classroom profile. The sum of parts outshines the weaker testing score, but she decided to also admit me as well. So those are pretty much the comments that my readers gave me. Um, as you can see, I like I explained in the last video, I didn't have the highest test scores, but I was still admitted to the university because other parts of my essay really shine through. Well, overall, my readers did really enjoy um, my application and they admitted me. Um, I do wanna kind of give a piece of advice for college students and future college students who are eventually going to come to university. I highly recommend that you read your college admissions applications. You can learn so much about what got you in, what you did well, what stood out. And even if your like admissions file is full of criticism or it's not full of um, commentary that you would like to hear, it is still a very good thing to know. At the end of the day, I think that it will be very beneficial for whoever reads it. So I highly recommend that you do so. All you have to do really is probably start with reaching out to your admissions department and they should aid you in the process. Um, and just for those who are applying to UNC, again, do not doubt yourself. One aspect may not be as strong as the others, but that does not mean that you will not get into the university. So I want you guys to try to shoot for every school that it is you're trying to apply to because you just never know, to be honest. And so, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on my post notifications. Um, and even leave some video suggestions down in the comment box below. And also be sure to follow all of my social media accounts that will be located in the comment section down below. So I hope to see y'all in the next video.